Make sure you back up a particular file if you want to keep your login rewards unlocked. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my news video. I'll touch on that file shortly, but to begin with, we saw the first of what is expected to be more special time limited events launch on Thursday, May 30th. If you haven't seen the event yet, per this tweet by The Sims, it's a staggered rollout and everyone should have it by June 13th and the five week countdown given to get all of the items will start when you first get the event. That said, there are two known mods that will prevent the event from appearing and that is Twisted Mexi's tool mod and Somatically's main menu refresh. However, both have already been updated, so make sure you have the most recent versions and then you shouldn't have any issues. However, it's possible that there are other mods or custom content that can cause issues. So if you use mods or custom content, test by moving your mods folder to your desktop, deleting your local thumb cache file, and then open your game to see if it pops up on the main menu. And I say move your mods folder versus just disabling in the game settings because moving is more thorough than just disabling. You can still have issues if you have the mods disabled and the mods still in the folder. There is a thread on EA Answer Headquarters where you can report issues if you haven't got the event by June 13th or if it started and then stopped. And again, make sure if you're reporting there that your mods folder has been, you've tested with your mods folder out and you're still having the issue. Also, Twisted Maxi's Better Build By has been updated as it was originally causing issues with the event filter. So it didn't prevent the event from showing, but it was causing other issues. So back to that file that you should be backing up. It's important to know that these rewards are not tied to your EA account and instead are tied to your user settings.ini file on your on computer. So make sure to back up that file when you're doing backups. So, you know, I back up with every update, whatever you happen to do backups. And keep that file if you're moving to a new computer or if you have two computers that you play on, you'll need to put it between the two computers unless you go in and log in for each separately. However, I'm not sure how it works for console because again, it's not tied to the EA account. It on computer is in that file. So that also means that if you do a factory reset or user folder reset because you're having game issues, you need to make sure that you keep that file and put it back into the newly refreshed set of files. And Krinrick has updated her guide on how to do a factory reset accordingly. That said, there is a cheat to unlock the items from this event, but it requires editing that same user settings.ini file. So it's only helpful if you're a player who's on computer and if you want to you know, do that. I'll show a screenshot there. It's by Twitter user Anadius. I haven't tried this. I can't, you know, I can't attest to how it works, but I'm just showing that if you want to perhaps try it, I'm quite happy to wait for it to unlock as again as it comes because also there are other ways to see and use the build by items before they're even claimed or before they unlock per the event so one is just you can go to the gallery as many people including myself have put rooms on the gallery with the new build by items so I just have a room with one color because you can use a design tool to change the color and also if you take that user file out, those items will still be in your save that doesn't remove them. It's because they're not tied to your account. They're not like DLC that if you disable a pack, all the stuff gets taken out. Once it's there, it's there, but it's also there because you can also just see it if you filter in build by by special and select event rewards. And initially all you'll see is what you actually unlocked by claiming them. But then if you filter by color, it'll show you the things that you've unlocked, which will have the special icon on them. And also the ones you haven't claimed, I'm saying unlocked, claimed, the things you've claimed. And then the things that haven't been claimed yet will also show, but they don't have the special icon on it at that point. Now, just note, none of the items with this particular event are red. So if you filter by red, you'll see nothing. <laughs> but any other color, all the other colors, there's something there. So this unfortunately doesn't work in Create a Sim. However, the new practice makes perfect trait seems to be unlocked per reports I've seen. Some people said they just saw it. I didn't, I tested that. However, I randomized the traits on a sim I you know 
created and it did show up and I've heard it also comes if you age up a sim when you're choosing their traits if you use the randomizer there. So the new trait is practice makes perfect. Um, these sims learn skills faster even if they are a little slower at first. So I'll show a little bit more details on what that is after. So EA's blog post covers various things including what's coming. So in week one, you're going to need to log in three separate times to get each of the reward items. There's a screenshot there of the items. Weeks two and three both require two separate logins and week four only requires one login, even though there are two actual rewards for that one login. There's like the vending machine and leisure wear. So, and then week five is there to allow you extra time to log in to get all the items. That's how it works. So you can see that and you can see the items. I've unlocked the week one items already. And I keep seeing that, you know, you can come back. My time is 5 a.m. Eastern that I can come back and claim the next. But when I did that, there was nothing there because it actually doesn't unlock till the week two begins. And I am actually interested in that one tile bar for week two. So I'm happy to see that. And I'm quite excited to have the Nano Trash Can 2 in a lot of different colors. Plus it's only 300 simoleons versus I believe the current one is 1200. Though someone did say that when you put stuff into it, you don't get like that little, you know, lights that show that you can't put more in and then it's you don't see that. I haven't actually, I've looked at the things, but I haven't played with any of them, so I can't really talk. So how that new trait works per this thread by Rex Edogawa on Twitter is that by default, your sims will learn skills at a 50% speed, but by practicing a single category, creative, social, physical, and mental continuously, they can up that speed to 90, 130, 160, and even a whopping 180%. So if you stop practicing, there's going to be the buff that you're going to get from it is going to start to decay and it's supposed to be checked daily. So you need to practice each category every day if you want to keep it for those categories. So if you, and if you don't practice, it'll eventually go back to that 50% where it's slower to gain the skills. But if you do practice each category, and this says five minutes a day for the four skill books, then you keep it at 180% as long as you practice a little bit. My issue with that for myself is that I find Sims don't do what you tell them right away. So yeah, five minutes isn't very much, but how long is it going to take you to get them to do that for that five minutes? Uh, and for me, I think there's a lot easier ways to get skill building like the uh, Night Owl and Morning Sim and the Savant. But I, you know, maybe it's useful for Sims in the beginning. Or if you have Tiny Living, just have a Tiny Lot type and then that does it. But, but I'm sure some people will find it handy. I just don't think I will. But, so this is right per the blog post events, are a limited time experience centered around a fun theme with free rewards or gameplay that add new opportunities to your game. Our team created a platform for these new events to live Something that is flexible, easier to update, and will be easy for you to find and claim those rewards. Our designers have been busy making new system, making this new system shine and preparing for the first event, while our artists have been creating new objects and creative sim pieces. The first event will be the Sims 4 Happy at Home login event, which is what we have right now, and it tells you how to do it, which we've already discussed. There will be updates in the future that bring additional layers to what you can see and do. The team is working on adding gameplay to events, perhaps a quest or two to explore, and even more rewards to claim. So we're going to be having events with objects and gameplay connected to the sim season. Events can also be timed to a variety of different occasions in a calendar year or a general theme that we look forward to sharing with you in the future. So that was essentially the overview. So no. I enjoyed the time limit events in the early days of Sims 4. I liked them. I know then not everybody did, but I always enjoyed them at that point. And I also liked that most of the items from those events eventually made it into the game, though some require you to have certain DLCs to access it, like the time limit of decorative eggs, which are now part of the egg hunt tradition that comes with seasons. That said, I have actually seen Simmers asking for these type of time limit events to return. So while I understand why this wouldn't appeal to everyone, 
and those who don't seem to like it are pretty vocal about it. I expect there are some who enjoy it, perhaps newer players with less content versus longtime players, since members of the Sims community are very diverse and tend to want very different things from their game. I'm probably more in the later, but you know, in the end, I enjoyed the scenarios, though I have seen comments, is this going to be a new thing that they're going to abandon in the end like they did with scenarios because we haven't seen any new scenarios for quite a long time. Who knows? In closing, if you play on computer, make sure you keep a backup of that user settings any file, uh, especially after you've claimed all the rewards, though you might want to just do it as time goes by. I did it after I've claimed the first three, but I'll replace it after I claim more. And I'm not sure how that's going to work with these events in the future, but like right now, that's how it's working. And I'd also love to know your thoughts on this this particular event and the return of time-limited events in general in a comment down below. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!